One of the most in interesting things about HRTX, HRTX stock, that is uh, Heron Therapeutics Inc., is this uh, short interest it has, which is at 50.28%, uh, short interest of float, 50.28%. And the short interest ratio is 15.5. So all of these are very healthy figures in the context of uh, short interest and short interest ratios and all that stuff. So 15.5 uh, 15, 15 you know, is uh, a huge, is a big number. 15.28% is way, 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 way above uh, the regular 12%, which is regarded as, as, as a cushion. So this, you know, so uh, given all of these numbers, you would definitely see um, market participants always having a look and uh, trying to see what's going on with the stock. And indeed, yes, we have that the stock has been, it has been, uh, it called, it reached a bottom, at least a bottom for now, at least it's uh, almost a month since that bottom, uh, that uh, we, that bottom was uh, printed. That's the 13th of June. That was when it was, when it was printed at, uh, Roughly, I think two point, two point. Okay, let's put it at two point three three dollars. That was when it was printed, but since that time, it has continued to extend, gloop uh, past its ten and twenty day moving averages, pull back, got support slightly below the twenty day moving average, but um, it's now getting some resistance from the fifty day moving average. The last time it was above that fifty day moving average was all the way back in uh, early February as, of, as a matter of fact 9th of February that was the last time it actually broke above that uh, yes 9th of February but, but before that it was some time before all the way back all the way back in November yes 5th of November and before that time it was at uh, as of the let's see get, let's get that sometime in sometime in September as well so Given all of those things, you know, according to Market Edge, they are saying that uh, the technical condition for HRTX is improving. We can evidently see that, you know, we or rather we evidently saw that some of the indicators have turned positive, as you can imagine. Some of these indicators, you can see them down here. They are all very much positive. Price would have changed positive. Unbalanced volume indicator is positive. Slope is positive. Momentum definitely positive. And extending um, my D histogram above zero and uh, 40 period slow scarcity oscillator was overbought before, but it's uh, also now overbought before. Normally, it's, it's, since it's an oscillator, it will naturally it may it may dwell there, but if it doesn't dwell there, the natural uh, uh, likelihood is uh, for it to come out from that condition. But it is improving, yeah, and all the other ind indicators, my D is uh, also doing so as well and uh, RSI equally doing so slightly above 50 you know at least not indicating an overbought, condi overbought condition so RSI and the 14 period slow oscillator are not indicating overbought conditions based on what is uh, what happened what as of the last trading session the the 8th of the 8th of uh, July so <coughs> so Moving on, so some of these indicators have turned positive as we just saw, suggesting that the bottom in the stock has likely occurred. The stock is underperforming the the market, especially the S and P five hundred over the last fifty day trading sessions. Okay, oh yes. So the MACD um, is confirming that the intermediate trend is 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 bullish at this time. HRTX chart for formation. Uh, suggest an upward trend is beginning. The stock is in the early stages of a rising trend. It closed above three $3.77. Is a number to watch to confirm a trend reversal. Okay, so if it closes above uh, $3.77, it may be the, the reversal of the bearish trend may be confirmed. So as things stand right now, it closed at 3.31. So 3.37 will be somewhere here. 3.37, just so I can see that 3.79, just around there. That's where it's gonna be, you know, which is way sufficiently, yeah, sufficiently above its 50-day moving average. So that will, according to the folks at uh, Market Edge. So the stock is in a short-term overbought condition. 
Okay, not not long, not 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 at, at the moment. That's not what the case is. It's not overbought at the moment. Okay, so over the last 50 day trading sessions, there has been more volume on up days than on down days, indicating that HRTX is under accumulation, which is a bullish which is a bullish condition. The stock is trading below um, a falling 50 day moving average, which is a fact, or just right where it is. A close above this moving average will be so will be supportive of the improving condition. So, all of these strong indications are in the midst of this um, apprehension, this skepticism towards the stock. That is a good balance you want to see. You want to see technical conditions improving, and then or you also want to see the skepticism towards the stock as well. Very good, you know, because you know the the uh, bullishness will chip into the the shot uh, the skepticism and force you know obviously skepticism has money locked into it you know so the skeptics the, the people who are selling the stock shop they are putting their mouth they're putting their money where their mouth is and this is really good we don't disregard i mean uh uh shots short interest chasers don't disregard um, these guys you know in the sense that um they they they, 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 they they respect that the fact that they put their money where their mouth is you know so moving on we can see that um, as of uh, the 9th of uh, May 2022, the chairman of the company, Barry Quart, um, had uh, summarized that overall, the first quarter of 2022 was an important turning point for the company, and amongst the many things they said, you know. But unfortunately, the stock didn't rally on that day. It actually, def it actually deviated. It retraced further. It was retracing and even retraced further, deviated far further away from its 10-day moving average. You know, given that news, but since after that, after a few sessions, it began to challenge uh, the resistance from that 10 day moving average. But all in all, we have uh, been able to project that, uh, or rather, estimate that um, it has a potential to rise to $5.22. $5.22 will be somewhere here. Let's see, $5.22. This is this was estimated uh, using um, Fibonacci. Okay, so. Let's do 5.22 dollars somewhere here. Okay, we have 5.23, so that will be that's where it is. So this will be definitely taken above, take def sufficiently cleared above its 50-day moving average, you know. And then we went on. We we determined that by using uh, this price of 3.45 and uh, 2.72, get the difference and multiply that by. Zero point so right. We multiply by that that uh, difference by two point six one eight, and we obtain. Sorry, we we we'll get a difference, and then you multiply that by two point six one eight, and then you add that to the closing price of three point three one. So, our estimate is uh, our our price target is two point five five point two two dollars, but also as well we have been able to plot plot this Fibonacci um, greed using the peak of this of the last 52 weeks okay that's not exactly the peak the peak is uh, somewhere here so the peak is around 13.13 uh, so but in any case we use 12.83 um yes and we were able to determine a few resistances these are also their resistances and they also uh, targets as well so after if it clears our computation of 5.22 the, ne the next target will be 6.34 7.58 8.82 10.36 what could be the driver of this is that possible you know that's uh, that's the that's the big question what i mean as a matter of fact why why is the stock how, why has it started to extend for it's been pretty much rallying since um, the 13th of uh, june yes indeed it did cool off and that's um, we want to see that as well you don't want it to continue to extend you just be very cautious which will, which will make it a bit comfortable but um, it did retrace you can see that it retraced um, even fell below its uh, short and intermediate moving averages but as, at the same time started to beef again so uh, he, ha he has he has printed out a comfortable uh, pattern here as well so yes the question is why did it even rally we have not been able to see why it rallied and uh, the other question is why would it continue to rally yes we know very well that uh, one of the reasons why it may continue to rally is the short interest the money money is locked up into the stock so you have the market cap of uh, one grand uh, two million dollars so that will be 551 million dollars locked into the stock so if, if 51 million dollars is forced into the stock definitely it can rally all the way up 
you know, all the way up to 10 10.36 but you know obviously it's not it's not as simple as that you know um, you know uh, uh, stocks that are, are probably going through a short squeeze you know attracts everybody attracts the people who are already in it already and those who uh, want to take advantage so it will att attract a, a a diverse spectrum of uh, traders whenever that that begins to occur so you may not see it um, squeeze all the way to the moon and all that stuff but um, um, I want to believe that um, the, the, the momentum it has picked up is not as, as a result of uh, a short squeeze and that's really good we want it to continue to uh, extend without um, um, a short squeeze uh, being behind it that's really good because you know the short squeeze will now be now provide marginal marginal push but at the same time when that happens we all know very well that there will be a a crash and uh, or rather a cool off that may not um, that uh, may not um, um, lead to any more um, activity for some time so um, so see what you make of um, HRTX and our target again is uh, 5.22 dollars and after that based on the Fibonacci, Fibonacci projection we have plotted based on uh, its uh, historical data we have uh, the next one is a 6.34 7.58 next one after that is 8.82 the next one is at 10.36 and then 12.83 and indeed as well all the way up to 13.03 or 13.13 so thank you very much for watching this video